it's been a while. I've been finishing school, doing all my exams, and everything is set. I passed everything, all the courses, all the exams, and now I am on my way to northern Norway with my sister, Asku. We just left Trondheim, and we are now headed out of fjord yet again. It's June the 19th, and it's beautiful, beautiful weather. It's super warm, it's not much wind today, so we're going by engine at least, and we timed it with the tide again. So, but yeah, the adventure finally begins, so we are super stoked to be moving and getting out. Woo! Bye Trondheim! Vad läser du? Sista, sånn. <laughs> Hvor mye seilerfaring har du, Rine? Null. Null? Jeg trodde det kan være mye på engelsk. Ja, men vi har subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> The voyage north to our grandparents. That will be our first destination on this journey. We are uh, just leaving Trondheim now, sailing a couple hours out, and we're doing 5.1 knots. We've got both sails up. I finally learned how to use the mainsail, it's not that hard. And things are great, it's super warm. Point six knots on the tide only because there is no wind at all. But that's okay, we're just chilling, we're just finally underway. That's great. A few other boats, power boats on the fjord. Not in a hurry. One knot of wind. Now we're doing 4.3 knots in 7 knots of wind. And that's perfect, and that just shows how important it is to actually plan and live with the tide if you're in the middle of a fjord, because that's a lot of current just being uh, with us, working with us in our favor. We just had a swim, so we just tied a rope and let it hang afterwards when we were doing like two knots. And we jumped and we grabbed the rope and climbed up the swim ladder. That was really fun. It's great to finally be underway and in such magnificent, awesome weather as well. It's just the best feeling. Most of my stuff that I own in my life is here, besides for some stuff at my dad's. That's a good feeling. I'm traveling with my whole home to the Arctic, to northern Norway, to the midnight sun. We officially left the Trondheims Fjord. Woo! And actually, it's amazing. And now we're heading out towards, uh, we're going past Krokwog, and then we're gonna turn north and keep going and see how far we can get today. The wind is northern winds today. 
but sometime tonight it will switch to southeast, I think, or southwest, and that's exactly what we want. And that will carry us up the coast. But so far it's only northern winds, but it's it's okay, we can still tack. I just put a reef in the mainsail and Elina is making some dinner and this is the exit of the fjord. When we get around here, we can start to turn north. Woo. So that'll be just in here, and then we go north. So it's 9 p.m. in the evening, it's still super bright outside, we're getting much further north. We are just docked here at this tiny little marina, I think we're the only guests. Um, this is locals boat, the super nice owner of this farm also owns this dock and he told us to taste the water because it's supposed to be really good, so it was really nice. And the sail was really good. We had uh, good speed, good winds out the fjord, and as soon as we came on the coast, it was as foreseen. It was just northern winds, and yeah, we did some tacking uh, until I realized, yeah, it's all slow <laughs> when you do that. <laughs> so uh, we decided to use the engine, and then we motored, and uh, now it's evening. And tomorrow there's supposed to be south easterly winds, so we're gonna try to wake up early and catch those. This is 9, 9 p.m. and it looks like this. Good morning. Southeast, just as we want. And I'm just getting ready to leave. I literally just woke up, but I'm just, we're just gonna go. Because, look at this. It's going to be really fun.
siden av er Linesøya. Linesøya. Er Linesøy. Og der borte er Harbart. With the strong and consistent southeastern winds the entire day, we were able to sail 120 nautical miles, way past our goal and all the way to our grandparents who live in a little fjord called Bindalsjord, Harangsjord, Bysjord, 
and many other names and I'm sure my grandfather will tell me I said the wrong name. But here we are. They came in with the small boat and the dog to escort us in to the mooring ball. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Sailing Vendala. If you enjoyed this episode, please press the like button, it will help us out. If you want to see more, just press the subscribe button and another episode will be up shortly. I'll see you soon and if you want to, you can also follow the Instagram page for the boat at Sailing Vendala.